Peace, and welcome to Oddly Familiar. Ever since the inception of the series, we planned on covering more than just background music. This includes the backgrounds themselves. In this episode, we will be taking a look at stages, levels, maps, boards, or whatever you want to call them. We will try to stay away from ones that are just too obvious. For example, I'm pretty sure everyone who played Primal Rage knew that was Stonehenge in the back. With no further delay, let's talk about oddly familiar video game backgrounds. Number 10, Zangief Stage from Street Fighter 2. If anyone has ever seen the movie titled Hard Times, starring Charles Bronson and James Coburn, then you might know where this one is about to go. The movie was released in 1975. It's the story of a drifter who turns to illegal underground prize fighting. During one of these fights, you might see a familiar background inside a warehouse with a bunch of spectators. Now let's take a look at Zangief's stage from Street Fighter. You have a warehouse with some fencing and some rails to keep the spectators back. The influence of this movie is well known, and the devs have even stated this movie helped them in the creation of Street Fighter. This was done on purpose, and admittedly so. You win. Number 9, Tekken 4, The Airport Stage. <laughs> Up next is a popular one where I'm from because it's in my hometown. When the game dropped, all of my friends noticed it and mentioned it. The airport stage in Tekken 4 bears an uncanny resemblance to DIA, Denver International Airport. In the game, there are some crates in the background that say Philadelphia, but that doesn't mean it's the location of the airport. Those crates could be headed to or came from Philadelphia. Besides, when you look at the airport in Philly, it's missing the trademark look of the Tekken 4 airport, with the white TP-shaped roof. When you look at DIA, you have those same exact TP-looking shapes. Not only is it the same shape, color, and material, but there is also an office up there. DIA opened to the public in 1995, and Tekken 4 was released in 2001. So at the very least, it is possible. Number 8, Super Mario Sunshine, Serena Beach. Our 8th spot is held by a simple one, and it doesn't take a lot of explanation on my end. All you need is a good aerial view of the stage, and once you see it, you will never be able to unsee it. It's a GameCube controller, from the two analog sticks to the four buttons on the face of it. Not a lot to say here besides that's just Nintendo doing Nintendo type stuff. Number 7, The Matrix, Path of Neo, Winter Training. While playing Path of Neo, I really like this stage. It's Japanese, there's samurai and sword play, but after playing it and really seeing it, it started to remind me more and more of a certain movie, The Sword of Doom. First of all, the movie is in black and white, just like the stage in the game. Then let's look a little bit deeper and compare both. The movie has a scene where Tatsuya Nakadai is going mad. He starts seeing ghosts and attacking them. As he is slicing down the doors and wrecking the place thinking he is fighting off the ghosts, samurai arrive and try to get him to stop. He sees them as just more enemies and slices them down too. It's an iconic scene. People who are into samurai movies will know of this one for sure. And it's pretty much the exact same scene in both the movie and the game. Sorry I had to limit it to just still photos, but YouTube is strict even when it should be allowed. Number 6, Fatal Fury 2, The Hong Kong Stage. Ha! 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 
so we wanted to avoid ones that were just a little bit too obvious, but I don't know how many people have been to Hong Kong to know about this one. I certainly haven't. In Fatal Fury 2, you will spot Jumbu in the background. It's nice and lit up, so it's easy to read. It's written on the building and on this gate. And in Hong Kong, here is the Jumbo Floating Restaurant. It looks nearly identical, from all of the lights to the Jumbo or Jumbu word on the top left. Then you can also add in the fact there is the entrance gate. In the game, you are fighting right in front of the gate with the restaurant in the far back. Number 5, Tekken 4, Underground. Up next we have Tekken 4 again. Originally released in 2001, Tekken has many influences. From Lei looking like Jackie to martial law looking like Bruce Lee. But besides the characters, you may have noticed some of the stages have influences too. The underground stage looks a lot like a scene in the movie Fight Club. Fight Club was released in 1999, only two years before the release of Tekken 4. So it's possible, but it may just be a coincidence. It's not the most rare thing in the world to have an underground fight with people watching it. But ever since this game was released, me and my friends have always referred to this as the Fight Club stage. Number 4, Mario Odyssey, Cap Kingdom. So when first playing this stage, I am sure a lot of people thought it looked familiar. The landscape with the fog along with the color tone and this big moon, I can't help but think about the Nightmare Before Christmas. You can pretty much find everything we mentioned on just the cover alone. And then when you watch the movie, you will get some more shots here and there that also have a familiar look. Nintendo might not have done it on purpose, but Cap Kingdom has the same look and feel as the Nightmare Before Christmas. Number 3, Fox Hunt. So I gotta admit, Egg and I like to watch terrible movies. And Egg found one titled Stick Fighter. So he sent me a link and while watching it, I saw a guy get kicked out of a window. As he was falling, I noticed the building looked a little bit familiar. I jokingly questioned, was that the building from Fox Hunt? Back when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we had a little Let's Play special. And all three of us, Kratos, Egg, and me, all tried out Fox Hunt. There was a very specific scene that I remembered. Our hero jumps out of a building to escape. So after watching the movie Stick Fighter, I tried to find some more information on that building. And I found Fox Hunt was filmed in the Ambassador Hotel at 3400 Wilshire Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. It opened on January 21st of 1921 and it closed in 1989. It was torn down in 2008. You can actually find a cool little video of the hotel before it was closed titled Objects Also Die, The Last Days of the Ambassador Hotel, 2008. IMDb has a list of movies and shows that were filmed there, and the list has 161 entries so far. Although the list is missing Fox Hunt and Stick Fighter, I am 100% sure both of them were filmed at this hotel. Number 2, Kent's stage from Street Fighter 2. Coming back to Street Fighter 2, Kent's stage makes an appearance with its little tugboat at the docks. This stage does appear in multiple games in the series, and the boat changes colors in some games. And in other games, the boat is completely redesigned. 
but we will be talking about the first few versions. You'll notice it takes place in front of a ship. Now let's note the two-tone color scheme along with the circular portholes and a second deck with life preservers and spectators cheering on the fight. There are some similarities and there is some actual proof here. If you check Capcom.com with a little searching you can find an interview with Akira Yasuda, one of the original creators of Street Fighter. He states straight out, Hard Times was one of the movies he used to piece together his presentation. For the first time in this entire series, because I specifically avoided this word in previous episodes, the word plagiarize appears, and it was not by me. In that same interview, Yasuda states he thought that meant to openly plagiarize. So I think it's safe to say this one may be the first openly plagiarized submission in the entire Oddly Familiar series. Number 1. The Matrix – Path of Neo The Path of Neo was released in 2005 on the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PC platforms. I saved this one for the last spot because it takes inspiration from Drunken Master 2 and Jackie Chan. When you reach level 7 on the Path of Neo, it's named Aerial Training. You must get 5,000 points within a 5 minute span. And once the stage begins, you will be met with hordes of axe wielding enemies. And if you look a little closer at the stage itself, you are in a medium sized building which is actually a restaurant. With the fight starting at the top of the staircase, and the floors are solid wood with wooden beams, chairs and tables. The axe wielding gang are all dressed the same in a dark traditional Chinese garb with a white layer underneath. Now let's compare that to a fight scene in Drunken Master 2. Let's pick up at the top of the wooden staircase with Jackie. It's in the same restaurant layout with the same axe wielding gang, dressed in the same outfits. This one is no accident. The choreography in the Matrix was done by Yen Wo Ping, who happens to be the director of Drunken Master 2. And a fun fact for you, he's the son of Sam the Sea, who was co-star with Jackie Chan in the first Drunken Master movie, in which Yen Wo Ping was the director. So there is your connection between The Matrix and the Drunken Master series. For our next Oddly Familiar episode, we have already narrowed it down to 10 themes, and since it's December, we will have a Christmas song in there for you. But it won't be 10 Christmas songs like last year. So to all of our oddly familiars, and to our gold level patron, Bearsona11, thank you for watching. I am ICC. Peace.